Alhamdulillahi wahda wa salatu wa salam ala man la nabiyya ba'da wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in a'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajim bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim laqad kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu meaning with the peace mercy and the blessings of Allah the Most High be upon all of you. Welcome to the new program, The Role Model. We intend to do this program focusing on two groups of people. Number one, the Muslims, so that we may redefine their role model, so that we may reset their standards in selecting the role model, so that we may make them understand what are the true criteria for selecting the role model and the other group of people that we would like to focus through this program is those people who are not yet Muslims not yet Muslims so we would like to reintroduce Muhammad peace be upon him as the best role model for all time in totality now why do we need a role model the question might be asked why do we need the role model? Well, it is in human nature that we always tend to follow a role model, a hero, a person who might influence you. It is a part of our nature that we follow someone whom we admire, whom we love, whom we respect, whom we would like to be like them. So, it is a part of human nature. Now, if we select the right role model, we would be right. Or, if we select the wrong role model, we would be wrong. For example, if someone chooses the role model as a criminal, as a sinner, as a person who is disobedient, as a person who kills people, then he would follow the same. And he would also be a criminal, a killer, a sinner, a person who is disobedient. So it is always important to follow the right role models. Moreover, we tend to follow the role model because they inspire us. We tend to follow the role models because they motivate us. What should be the criteria for selecting the role model? People in general they select role models based on their own choices, their interest, their fields. Some might select a person who is very successful to be his role model. Someone might select a person who is very influential to be his role model. Someone might select a person who has done good to them as their role model. Someone might select a person who is par excellent in his field. So he selects him to be his role model. But one thing we have to realize and understand is that these role models, these role models cannot be the role model in totality. They cannot be completely good in all the matters of life. For example, if a person who is a brilliant scientist, he might be very good, excellent in science, but maybe this person is not at all kind and dutiful to his parents. Therefore, he is not the role model in totality. Also, if we take an example of a person who might be a great businessman, a very rich businessman, but he is a person who is absolutely not for the charity. He does not at all help the poor and the needy from his wealth. So, he cannot be considered as a good role model in totality. Therefore, 
Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, we need a role model. We need the role model who is complete as well as who should be for all time. Because we see the role models keeps on changing in the minds of the people. Some, sometime this person is a role model for the other person. And after a year or after 10 years, he changes his role model. Therefore, we need the role model who should be complete, who should have all the good qualities in totality as well as he should be for all time. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has helped us in redefining our standards in terms of selecting the role model. The role model, number one, should be appointed by God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Ahzab, Surah number 33, Ayat number 21, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا the best example for you, the best model for you to follow in your life is the life of Muhammad peace be upon him. It is Muhammad peace be upon him who was selected, appointed and designated as the role model for the whole of humanity. For those who hope to meet Allah, who hope to meet the last day and who remember Allah a lot. So the first thing it should be that God Almighty, He appoints a role model and we should follow Him. The second thing, this role model, He should guide us in all the areas of life in a practical sense. In a practical sense, He should guide us in all the areas of life, whether it be personal or professional, financial or private. Any area of life, he should be able to help us with this practical guidance as an example for us to follow. Also, we need to understand that this role model, he should be for all the time. He should not be keep on changing. And therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has sent Muhammad peace be upon him as the role model for the people to follow till the humanity dies. Till the last day, Muhammad peace be upon him has been given to us, has been sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the role model to follow till the last day. Moreover, the role model, he should be truthful and honest. The role model should be sincere and strong. The role model should be complete and comprehensive. And that is the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has selected and appointed Muhammad peace be upon him as the role model for all time for all the people as we know that there will be no prophet there will be no messenger as the role model will be sent after Muhammad peace be upon him therefore Muhammad peace be upon him is considered is eligible and the only one to be considered as the role model and we know that Muhammad is the benefactor for humanity. He was the one who has helped us to recognize and realize our own existence. Muhammad peace be upon him is the one who brought the truth. Muhammad peace be upon him was the one who brought the mankind from darkness to light. Muhammad peace be upon him was the one who cared for all the people, who cried for all the people so that we may be saved. We need to follow the role model who should be like Muhammad peace be upon him because there was no man, there was no man, there is no man and there will be no man like Muhammad peace be upon him. So inshallah we shall be talking about this role model appointed by God Almighty who is best in totality and for all time. So in the following episodes we shall be discussing about this role model as a person who was best to his wives, as the best to his wives in general. Muhammad peace be upon him is the best role model 
for all the husbands for all the husbands to derive to take the lessons to be an ideal husband he must look at the life of muhammad peace be upon him who was the best husband therefore we will talk about muhammad peace be upon him as the best husband for all the people and for all time we shall also discuss about the role model as a messenger as a da'i a caller to islam any person who would like to engage himself in the service of islam in calling people to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he must look again an example the role model in the life of muhammad peace be upon him therefore we shall discuss about muhammad peace be upon him being the role model as a da'i as a caller as a messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we shall also talk about muhammad sallam as the best role model in terms of his leadership he was the best role model as a leader any person who would like to be performed his life as a leader be it in the home be it outside he should also look at the example of muhammad sallam being the best leader of all time for all people muhammad peace be upon him as the role model in terms of an army general he was the best and the most organized strategic and merciful army general so if anyone would like to take an example would like to perform the role of an army general as the head of the state as the head of an army he should look in the life of muhammad peace be upon him because he was the best role model as an army general the role model as a person who was good to the people especially as a person who was a father an educator a person who was a friend and companion allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has selected muhammad peace be upon him for us to follow as the best role model as a father as an educator as a friend as a neighbor as a person who was kind to all the people as a person whom we should follow in all walks of life muhammad peace be upon him as a businessman muhammad peace be upon him as a trader muhammad peace be upon him as the best slave of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we will also deal with some of the misconceptions with regards to our muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the role model and lastly we'll talk about muhammad peace be upon him and our commitment towards him so inshallah we'll see you in the next segment where we will talk about the background of arabia the situation at the time of prophet muhammad peace be upon him the scenario at the time of muhammad peace be upon him and how muhammad peace be upon him was sent amongst those people and how he brought the message to the mankind till then we take leave now by ending this episode with an ayah with which i began my talk from surah ahzab surah number 31 33 ayat number 21 we end this talk with an ayah from surah al ahzab surah number 33 ayat number 21 in which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says laqad kana lakum fi rasulillah uswatun hasana the best example the most influential example the best role model that you need to follow is in the life of muhammad peace be upon him wa akhir dawana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah every time when i'm awake oh things that i see i know it's hard to believe but it's from the almighty when the leaves fall from the tree
every plant that grows on land when the waves flow in the sea it's by